right, welcome back, everybody, for another episode of Hidden Gems. This is the series where I talk about those books that are not on the hot 10 list. These are the books that are kind of undervalued, underappreciated, forgotten about types of things. Uh, just things I kind of want to share. In particular, I'm going to be doing a special interlocking cover lover episode today. So these are all going to be connecting covers that I thought were kind of cool and just kind of run through them. Just kind of another quick little short show to mix in here on my Tuesdays. Uh, Tuesdays is going to be kind of a catch-all. I'm going to be mixing in hidden gems. I'm going to be doing chasing ghosts and I'm going to be doing uh, trade secrets on this day going forward. Next week, I'll probably do a trade secrets to mix in here. So uh, hopefully you're down with that minor change or tweak to the schedule. And uh, if you want to see what interlocking covers I have for you, you just got to hang on for a few seconds. But first, make sure you let me know what you think about the content we're providing here by putting a comment down below. Please like, subscribe, hit the alert button so you don't miss anything, and keep telling your friends so we can keep growing this channel. I'm having a lot of fun doing it, a lot of plans coming up for 2024, and uh, hopefully you're on board to uh, join us on that uh, adventure. And with that all said, if you want to see this week's books, just hang on for a few seconds after the intro, and I will be right back. All right, so let's get right into it. Again, you guys know by now I'm a big fan of uh, connecting covers. They're sometimes called interlocking covers, puzzle covers, uh, whatever you want to call them. I love connecting covers. And we are going to start off today's show with a couple of uh, two-parters. Very simple two-parters. First, we have Dreamwaves Transformers number one. This was like 2003, 2004. So this goes back a little ways. I mean, it's 20 years ago now. Uh, but... The first issue had a couple of covers that when you look at them, you can connect them. Now, at first glance, the Autobot side of thing seems to not exactly match up with the uh, Decepticons. And you put them together like, wait a second, these things don't go together. The reason for that is because these are actually individually wraparound covers. So each of these already has three. There's a back. There's an also a fold out. So there's already three parts to each side, making a huge six panel sized image, which I'll share with you right here. You can see the fold out Autobots, the fold out Decepticons go together. All six uh, covers make a much larger uh, image there. Now, these are not that expensive. Today, I'm only going to give you for sale prices. I'm not going to give you recently sold because it was just easier for me to do it this way. And as you can hear, my voice still isn't 100% back yet. So uh, I'm going to try to limit the time on this show as well as how much talking I do. So with that, you can see crazy, not crazy pricing. It's just inconsistent. These things could be as cheap as $3 or as expensive as $18 individually. For either issue it's not hey the decepticon covers always more expensive that's not the case it's just there's a wide range of prices these are mostly very cheap and you could find them out there uh even online if you wanted to collect these things so that's issue one from dreamwave we're going to do a couple of these because the first few issues all connected not so much as this one where this was the three and three the fold out wrap around uh, business the other ones are much more straightforward starting with issue two here we just get the Decepticon side of things, which I think is technically the B cover, but they always put them on the left. And then you got the Autobot side of thing here. So you put these two together, you get a much larger image. You got Ultra Magnus there. You know, some of the uh, aerial, not aerial bots. Uh, I forget what the Decepticon plane dudes were called. The Star Screams guys. Uh, but with that all said, <clears throat> these sets are also very cheap. You can see here, uh, a lot of these are available at My Comic Shop. You can see even on eBay's My Comic Shop, three bucks a piece. So, you know, three bucks each, you can, you know, that's cover price, basically. 20 years later, still for cover price. And if you go digging in those cheap boxes, you can still find these in dollar boxes, too. Uh, so just keep that in mind, too. This could be some fun digging, uh, fun books for you to find in those cheap boxes uh, to, you know, connect and uh, make some, uh, you know, fun connecting covers. Issue three, same deal here. We've got uh, some Decepticons here mashing it up with the uh, Autobots here on the other side. You got Grimlock and the Dinobots. Uh, and then uh, I think those are the Trypticons. Uh, at least that one is. That, that dude was like a tank and a plane uh, and a robot. So he was, you know, three things. I like that one. It was actually kind of cool. Uh, but with that said, again, pretty cheap. 
My comic shop's got copies of these, again, for three bucks a piece on eBay, but you can get them cheaper, actually, on my comic shop because they don't have to pay eBay fees. That's also a tip. You see something on uh, eBay that's sold by my comic shop? Go directly to my comic shop, and you can save uh, a couple of pennies because they don't charge that extra little fee. So, And it's coming from the same stock, uh, you know, same uh, source. So just something, just something, you know, for you to check out. So keep that in mind when you're out there shopping. Issue four, I'm going to just keep rolling these through. Uh, again, Decepticons, you got, uh, what's her name, RC, and you got some, you know, Hot Rod. Pretty cool, you know, mashing these together, making much larger images. Again, just like the others, guess who's got them for cheap? Three bucks a piece. Issue five, we got Starscream. It's connecting here with... Uh, yeah, with a reflection of Optimus. You know, seems, seems kind of cool here. Uh, but issue five also, guess where you can find them? Yep, that's right. Three bucks a piece at uh, my comic shop. And the last one here I'm going to do, I don't want it's not an all Transformer show. It's just a lot of these dream waves, the first few issues, they're all connecting covers. Uh, and, you know, it's not too bad. When it's only two, I don't get that upset. But I hate it when they make you buy multiple copies of the same issue. I like it when connecting covers go over a run of issues or different comics, different series even, or, you know, individual parts. Like, so this way the comic you're getting inside is different and you're not buying. You know, I'll deal with it when it's only two. So in this case, you have to buy two copies of Transformers number six to make this image, but you've got two of the same comic. It's kind of annoying, but you know, I can deal with it when it's only two. Uh, but this is issue six. Uh, you got, you got um, Shockwave there. Some uh, downed Autobots, and not all of them are at my comic shop, but a lot of them have been. Here you can see, again, 7 to 10 bucks could be some options that you find out there online if you go searching. All right, those were my uh, two covers, two comics. We're going to grow it out here and go to three. Serenity. So, uh, Serenity Better Days was a three-issue mini. This here in the middle is issue two. Why did I start with issue two? Well, because it's in the middle and it's easier for me to show you the other two issues as they show up, making one larger combined image there. So, boom. Uh, pretty cool. I think this is uh, Adam Hughes cover too. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's doing uh, this connecting cover. And you know, guys know I like Hughes. So, and I also am a big fan of Firefly and Serenity. So, this is a pretty cool one. And you could find this thing cheap. This is really cheap. Uh, out there for sale. I mean, you can get all three for uh, six bucks, eight bucks, thirteen dollars. But look, it's as cheap as six bucks. That's two dollars an issue. That's less than cover. Just saying. All right, so that was my three. Let's grow it out. Let's go to four. I recently learned about these ones being connecting covers. I didn't know these uh, Jeff DeCall uh, Inferno series. These are variants. Not incentives, but they were open order variants for the 2021 Inferno series. Uh, this one does pretty well on its own. This is the uh, Emma Frost for issue one. But the rest of the series, they do connect very like vaguely. I mean, yes, the background is a run through with the gray line, etc. But realistically, it's pretty. They're, they're really individual covers. They just happen to connect. But at the same time. I do like the art on all of them, and I do like all of them together. So, yes, it's not the traditional, you know, as you expect to see a, a huge, larger image being formed by these four comics. But these do, you know, these four do go together, and I do like them. I especially, again, like one, and I like four. I, I like them all. I, I mean, to be honest, I do like them all. But these do all right. Uh, these are about thirty bucks for all four, so that's over cover price for all of them. You know, together, I mean, you figure four bucks an issue. That's 16 bucks, so that's almost double cover for it to get the whole set. Because like I said, that Emma Frost sells at a bit of a premium. That's like a $15 book on its own. And then uh, issue four is not too bad either with the Mystique, you know, kind of morphing into X-23 Wolverine there. All right. Up next, I got a couple of uh, five spots for you. G.I. Joe. So <clears throat> near the end of the run on the IDW G.I. Joe series, they did multiple connecting cover sets on the B covers. Those are the subscription covers or whatever. So cover B here, we got an example, 266. So for this issue and the next five issues, they connected to form a much larger image. Pretty cool here. You know, we've got a lot of the vehicles and the old school like weaponry and stuff from those original Joe lineup, you know, like the missile command type stuff. Really cool stuff. It's nostalgia for me. So I remember all this stuff. So I kind of like this 
uh, being thrown together. And they're kind of laid out like they're Polaroids thrown down on a desk. As you can see, the images are kind of a little off kilter. And you see a little bit of a wood grain underneath of them. Kind of fun. Uh, these do okay. Again, they did this uh, for a good portion of that IDW late run. IDW ran all the way up to 300 before they uh, closed shop on them. And you can see here how individual issues could go for, you know, not 10 to 15 bucks for some of these B covers because they're not that easy to find uh, these days. You know, it's it's been like a year now, I think, right about. I mean, well, you guys know that G.I. Joe's coming now from Skybound, but it's been a while now since uh, IDW had this, and uh, finding those back issues isn't the easiest thing in the world to find. That said, this ran from 266 to 270. Just for another example, I'm going to follow up with the next five issues. So 271 through 275 basically lays out all of the Joes. You can see here, boom, like they're all laid out there for you. Uh, and you got the, you know, the big uh, space shuttle ship in the background, in the center one there. A lot of cool stuff here. Again, nostalgia galore. Remember all these characters, their names, their gear, their outfits. Issue 300, which I said was the last IDW issue, also did this on a uh, single, you know, the single issue. But it's kind of cool here to have them a little spread out, a little easier to make out and uh, see some of these characters spread out over five issues. Uh, when you look at it here, so 271 through 275 is also a pretty cool set. And this one, they trade for a little bit higher uh, than the rest. As you can see here, some individual issues are more like 15 to 30 for some of these B variants. So keep that in mind, too. Now, as I was complaining before, this five issues, you get a run. You get an entire storyline. A lot of these uh, sets are based off of story arcs inside the comics. So you get the whole arc, you get all the covers, you get the whole set. They form one nice image. Perfect. Goes together. Makes sense. Other way that these connecting covers happen is when you do things like Image United. So going up to six covers here, we have Image United number one, which they want you to buy this comic six times if you want to make this one image six times and it's the same comic inside that's ridiculous that i'm not a fan of uh and not only that they made you do it more than once uh i don't think they ever finished this mini series i think it was supposed to run six issues but here's issue one pretty cool it is a jam cover so all the artists doing their own characters here so you got mcfarland doing spawn you got larson doing savage dragon you got uh turner doing uh witchblade etc cool i like that i dig it i don't like the fact that i gotta buy this comic six times just to get this image but some of the covers sell better than others uh spawn obviously mcfarland fans will pay a premium for his that's like a 30 dollar book where some of the others mixed in you can see they might be more like 15 or 20 for multiples etc just just options out there but as i noted they made you do this more than once because image united 2 Second issue, they do it again. It's cool, but they make you buy the comic six times to make this larger image. Once again, artists doing their own characters, jammed together. You got Liefeld in there as well. Uh, Protatio, Jim Lee mixed in, Silvestri. Cool. But issue two is a little easier on the wallet, uh, while individual issues could actually... Uh, I've, I'm a little mistaken there. If you look at that, the spawn issue here is actually forty to sixty-five dollars, and uh, that Shadowhawk one, uh, ten bucks. All right, so spawn collectors again, they're paying premiums. Maybe I should have led with this one in the article uh, instead of the number one. But issue three is the cheaper one. This one I know is cheaper, and this was the last one I think they did this with because I don't think they ever finished this miniseries, if I'm not mistaken. But at the very least, they didn't do these connecting covers to do this. So issue three. Once again, they want you to buy this six times. Yes, different artists doing different characters scattered across. These, like I said, are a bit cheaper than uh, ones and twos uh, with copies. Five bucks here, eight bucks there. Uh, the whole set, 50 bucks. Eh, it's, uh, it is what it is. I don't know. Kind of cool, but like I said, I don't like the idea of having to buy the same comic six times just to get that image. Give me different stuff. As an example, our mega set. 
So for the mega sets that I like to cover here, these are going to be things that are like 10, 12, 15, 20, huge things. I mean, that Star Wars one was what, like 24 comics? I can't remember. Uh, last time out when I did this, it was a Street Fighter uh, 12 covers that kind of stacked. This week's are X-Men books that also stack in a similar fashion. So I'm going to show these to you in chunks of three just so you can appreciate the art and the covers first before you see the whole image because on the smaller screen, you're not going to be able to really appreciate the, the size of this thing. So with that said, let's get into it. This is 2013, 50th anniversary for the X-Men. These, I believe, are just uh, open order variant covers. I don't think they're incentives across all these different X titles. So you got Wolverine, you got Savage Wolverine, all new X-Men, different artists doing these as well. So it's similar to like a jam cover that was on the Image United. It's not one artist doing everything. Different artists doing individual covers, but there is some connectivity there with the background. You see the Sentinels there in the background, et cetera, uh, kind of smashing together, forming this one larger uh, image. So you got the three there. We got another three here that would line up underneath of those. We got an all-new X-Men, Uncanny X-Men, Uncanny X-Force. Again, you see the different artists doing uh, their different styles here. I think it was, uh, I think it was Bradshaw. And then uh, who else was doing X-Men art at the time? Uh, I know Joe Mads mixed in here somewhere, and you got uh, uh, Patatio, you got Salvador LaRocca there. Again, with some more covers, uh, Chris Bacalo, and got three more. There's Joe Mad in the middle. Uh, who else do we got there? Is that Oliver Coipel, possibly? Uh, I can't remember all the artists. Point being, these all connect and make a huge 12 comic cover image set again it's not as impressive when you see it on this, this screen here you got to see the you know in, in pieces and actually in front of you when you got 12 comics laid out uh then you can get you know, a real appreciation for the size and breadth of what they did here but i still think it's cool and these you can find these actually uh pretty cheap you can find these online individually because they're not incentives you can find even some of these books in dollar bins because not all of these were popular titles even though they were x books so this is a set you could possibly build out and make something interesting. Just for a point of reference, one of these sold, this whole set, I think sold for like 125 last month. And I found a set that's available right now that wants $750. $750 for these 12 issues. Pretty steep ask. But just for fun, connecting covers, I like to run through these things every so often. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you found that interesting. Hopefully I gave you some things to go look for when you're out there digging because not all this stuff is expensive. Some of this stuff is cheap and undervalued and underappreciated. And uh, I just want to shed a little light on it so you got some fun books that you can go out there and hunt. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for dealing with my raspy voice here as I'm trying to get over this uh, bit of a hangover cold. And uh, yeah, make sure you come back for the tax show tomorrow. Got another fun show planned for you guys live and all the other content here every day on Renovation. So again, thank you again for all the support and I'll see you all later with some more content. All right.